There are three types of digital content which make up the bulk of what consumers will utilize. Each of the three have pros and cons and each can be used in conjunction with the others to form a network of content that will have a far reach. Written content is what you are likely to encounter the most often, both on and offline. Traditional articles, social media, blog posts, white paper, etc. Any written content falls under this category. This content type will also include listicles and infographics which are becoming more and more popular by the day. The second way that people consume digital content is by video. Video has the benefit of engaging two of the senses, both sight and hearing. Unfortunately, that is also its downfall. Since people must focus their attention, they often determine upfront whether the time invested in watching it will be worth spending or not. And if they decide it isn't, they disregard the content entirely. Finally comes audio in the form of audio clips and podcasts. The huge benefits of this type of content is that it can be consumed on the go. You can listen to a podcast while driving, while in the gym, or even while working. When you begin to formulate your digital content plan, not only should you keep these three types of content in mind, but you should also bear in mind the ease with which you can translate the same content from one type to another. The same bullet points you make in a listicle could easily become a podcast or a video with a slight pivot. It's all about how you choose to use the content you have inside you.